Here I am, clinging to the side of a deep, icy chasm. I didn't think I'd ever end up in a place like this. Alaska. This majestic state houses the 13 tallest peaks in the U.S., over 45,000 miles of shoreline and abundant wildlife. Also, it was on my bucket list, so I headed down to the town of Seward, about 120 miles south of Anchorage, where I met up with my old friend, the Travelocity Roaming Gnome. Glad you could make it, Bob. Now you can decide. Are you here to unwind or to explore? Can we do both? Indeed we can. So we first hopped on a nature cruise. We figured, why not ease into Alaska with Kenai Fjords Tours. And we're paddling through a fjord headed to the Gulf of Alaska. Yes, you've always wanted to come to the 49th state someday. Well, let's seize that someday today. I'm ready, pal. As we steamed off in search of the elusive humpback whale, the ocean was teeming with wildlife. From black leg kitty wakes, I should probably put my hood up, to porpoises, and a circus of puffins. They kind of walk around like this. We encountered a colony of stellar sea lions, the largest species of sea lion, and weighing up to 2,500 pounds. Two large males were fighting over a gaggle of females chillaxing on the rocks below, who were clearly the winners here. Still hoping for a whale sighting, I checked in with Captain Greg. Pretty good visibility and a good chance of seeing one. Whoa! That's a Northern Pacific humpback whale. They can grow to nearly 60 feet long. And as we moved farther into the Kenai Fjords National Park, it seemed to be changing seasons. And what finally appeared in front of us was breathtaking. The Ielic Tidewater Glacier, as it calved and crumbled into the sea. So, Bob, I bet you'd like to get up on top of one of these glaciers. <laughs> so, it turns out the roaming gnome was not kidding. Bob, meet your pilot Mike from Marathon Helicopters. All right, Mike, where am I exactly? So we're flying through the Kenai Mountains right here. What's that glacier we're about to visit? We're heading right for Godwin Glacier. Mike set us down on a moonscape and we met up with our guide. Man, how you doing? I'm Bob. Trevor, exit glacier guide. Little did I know the guys had a secret for me, high up on the glacier, and a recurring warning. Don't fall into that hole. Okay. <laughs> you would definitely die if you fell into that one. Then to my dismay, I discovered that the plan for me is a descent into a deep hole in the ice called a crevasse. Oh my God. That is, for all practical purposes, bottomless. Holy <laughs> Not in Georgia anymore which takes us back to where we started, with the Earth trying to swallow me whole. Oh, Bob, the Earth is not going to swallow you. Now enjoy yourself and begin your climb back to the top. Nice, Bob. Yeah, there we go. Nice, Bob. And against all odds, I crested the rim of the crevasse to the very welcome sight of my dear friend. Bob, in our hands, you were always safe. You were right, 100%. But still you can celebrate like you're king of the world. 